Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, we are doing another luxury haul. I am partnering with Estier on this video, and if you guys are unfamiliar with the clothing brand Estier, they are a clothing brand and they were established in 1994, and they also have a Paris store location. You guys know how much I love Paris. I wish I knew they had a location there last time I was in Paris. And their clothes are basically clothing that offers simplicity, comfort, and like an edgy kind of vibe to the clothes. And I will have photos on the screen of their Paris store location. Just so much more of a vibe, anything that is like has a Parisian aspect to it. So I love the fact that they have a Paris store location. So the first thing is this black dress. And I will show how everything looks on because it will be a little bit difficult, of course, to see it as I'm holding it up. But just this very simple, again, goes with the simplicity of their brand um, dress that has like a little bit of some ruffles here. I'm not someone that is big on a bunch of ruffles. Just like a subtle ruffle is good for me. So I like that it's subtle and it is like a midi length. You guys will see in the try on how it looks on. Um, so I just love the simplicity of this and this can really kind of be dressed up or down. I would dress this down if I were on like, let's say a European vacation or something with sneakers and I would dress it up of course with like heels. Next is this pair of sort of edgy pants. Again, going with the like brands whole vibe of having like edgy, simple or comfortable pieces. Love how this can also again be dressed up or down. So I would dress this up with maybe like a white blouse like tucked um, inside of the pants. And then I'll dress it down with maybe like a white tank top. So I love these pants and you will see in the try on how these look better on. And then the ends of the pants are basically just like this straight leg, which I really like. I think if it were flared, it would have been a little too much. So I love the fact that it's a straight leg. And they're also really nice quality too. Like they feel kind of heavy. So I love that as well. And here's the back. You'll be able to see it a little bit better in the try on. Next is this black jacket. I love things that are kind of simple but classic, as we know. I feel like this jacket definitely fits the like simple classic vibe. And it has like a little hint of like a little, a little tiny hint of like metallic in the jacket. So I like how it's just a little hint. You guys know I love metallic, just not when it's something like too crazy. Um, I do have those Giuseppe boots that I pull that are obviously like a bright silver metallic. It has to be like, I don't like it for clothes. I like it for accessories. So I love that it's just like a little hint. And I thought these buttons were really unique too. It's sort of this like uh, gunmetal silver color. And I like the shape as well. It's very unique. Next is this sort of simple plain black top, but on the sleeves, it does have this sort of ruched design here, which can kind of give you a little bit more dimension on your shoulder area. I love how tops like this look on. And then the sleeve length is about like three quarter short sleeve. And I love how it's kind of stretchy too. Um, the way I could describe it is like, if you have workout leggings that you wear, I wear workout leggings 24 seven, or just around like doing errands and stuff. It kind of has that feel to it, which just makes it that much more comfortable and obviously it can like fit to your body a little bit better. So I love that this is a little bit stretchy. And as for sizes, I'm either a small or a US four. Uh, I don't recall there. I think they just go by like small to large kind of sizes. So I think that I'm just a small in all of Estier's clothing pieces. Next piece is this white blouse. And I like the sort of like tie it has in the middle. I really like how it just kind of gives it a little bit more dimension. It's different than just like a plain white uh, button up. I have a bunch of plain white button ups. I love plain white button ups, especially for summertime. They're just so versatile that you can wear them like tucked into pants. So I could wear this like tucked into the pants from Estier that I already hauled. Um, or you can wear it kind of like open over like a swimsuit. I just love the versatile aspect of a good white button up. So I do own quite a few, but I love how this one is a little bit different with this sort of center um, it like kind of goes in so it sort of would cinch your waist a little bit. You guys will see in the try on. Next piece is this hat. So I think this would be really cute for obviously the beach and I will show it how it looks on. So here's how the hat looks on and it does have these little ties. So you could tie this around here and it could kind of dress up the look in my opinion. Whenever you see like those hats that have a little tie around under the chin, it does definitely dress up the look. So you could wear like this. I would not wear it fully ready how I am right now. Um, this would be worn like with a bikini, no makeup kind of vibe. Um, depending on what I'm doing, I would either leave this untied or I would tie it. And the best for last, this is the last piece I'll be hauling from Estier. This one is my absolute favorite. I am very, very picky about sweaters. I don't like sweaters that have an itchy material. I do own some where I just like how they look, but they itch me and I literally cannot wait to get out of them. It's very hard to find like very comfortable sweaters that aren't too warm. Like I feel like when it's a wool sweater, it's definitely a nice quality and everything. It feels nice. But even sometimes wool can be a little scratchy on the skin though. But like wool, cashmere, those like nicer materials can sometimes become too hot. This one is like the perfect material and it's so soft and it's still a little bit breathable. 
um, just feels like, I don't know how to even describe it. I don't know what the material is on this. I'll have the products all linked in the description box. So I'm sure they'll have the material under the product description, but it is like the yummiest, like it's a very buttery feeling. And so I absolutely love this. If they had this in other colors, I would want every single color. And I kind of like how it's a V-neck. A lot of my sweaters um, are crew neck and I do typically prefer crew neck with a lot of um, tops, but with sweaters, sometimes they make me claustrophobic. So I like that it's a V-neck. So I have a little, a little wiggle room, a little breathing room. And there's a little hint of like metallic in here as well. So it's this very pretty like sort of royal deep blue with a little hint of metallic. So I absolutely love this piece. And this is so, so comfortable and very buttery. Like I don't know other way to describe the material. It's just very buttery. This is definitely my favorite piece. So that's it for the Estier portion of this haul. And I will have Estier's website in the description box down below, as well as other information and links to all of the clothing pieces and the hat that I've hauled in this video. And now let's get into the rest of the haul. Next is just this Twilly from Hermes. I picked this up at the airport in um, Osa the Osaka airport in Japan, just because I had extra yen. That's their currency, Japanese currency. I had extra yen and I was literally walking around the whole airport. I was just going to buy things like at, I don't know, a little like Japanese beauty department kind of section of a store or like something like matcha powder tea or something. And I literally walked the entire airport of where at least like what was within near my gate and they didn't really have hardly anything. They had like matcha cookies. So okay, I got my grandpa and my mom matcha cookies and then I had like face masks. So I got some of those for my grandma, but that was like really all they had that I was interested in besides Hermes. So I was like, okay, you know what? Like I've been forced into it at this point. So I went in there, I've been like a little shopping van just because I noticed that a lot of the things I was buying have literally been sitting in my closet with the tags still on it. So I have like told myself, okay, I need to wear some of those things before I buy new things and decide like what things I actually wear. So I'm trying to look at, pay attention, I guess, to like what things I actually wear that I buy and what sits in my closet with the tag still on it. So I was forced in there because I literally had, I think uh, like 220 um, US worth of like yen left. So I was like, okay, like let's just get a twirly and call tonight. <laughs> so I was forced to go in there. Um, and just because I need to spend the last of my currency and I knew I wasn't going to be going back to Japan. If I have leftover like Euro currency, I will keep that because I always go back to Europe. But with Japan, I knew like I'm probably not going there for, again for a while. So I needed to spend it. So here is the Twilly. I haven't seen this one at all like anywhere. Um, I feel like I see a lot of like the same designs on their website um, in person. Like if I go to the stores in Europe or even like in the US, I haven't seen anything like this one. And um, it was actually, they had like two different stores that were like basically, I don't know, within probably 20 feet of each other. One was considered women's, the other one was considered men's. I went to the women's and they were like, oh no, like we don't have any Twillies. Didn't even advise me to maybe go next door for the Twillies. And then I went next door into the men's section. I was actually just going to get my dad like a tie or something. And then um, I saw that they had these and I asked if these were like men's Twillies. Like why were these not in the women's? Why they tell me you don't have any? Whatever. So anyways, I just ended up buying this one. She said they're like unisex, which I'm pretty sure they are anyways. It's just weird that they said at the like wet men's store they didn't have any. Maybe she just didn't know they had some at the men's store. They had like quite a bit to choose from, so I don't know. Um, but I love how these are reversible and I just needed another one because I wear that orange one that I have all the time in my hair as like a braid. And I've tried purchasing like kind of twilly designed scarves from other brands and they just like don't do, it doesn't work the same. I don't know like what it is when I go to do the braid in my hair. Like you guys probably saw in the, um, it was the haul where I wore my hair in a ponytail with like a yellow scarf, that one's from Givenchy. I do love the brand Givenchy, mostly their handbags and shoes. Um, however, they, they definitely, the scarf was not doing it with the braid and I was having problems. With the Hermes Twilly, I don't know if it's the exact like width of the material, how the length of the scarf, what it is, it's just so much easier to do braids in my hair with the Hermes one. So I needed to get another one. Um, and, and again, I was actually on a shopping ban, <laughs> but when I say shopping ban, I don't mean like something that's like under $500 or something like that. I mean things like that are thousands of dollars because I was spending so much money on, I still obviously spend money. When I say shopping ban, that's probably not like at all anyone's idea of a shopping ban. My idea of a shopping ban is no just like frivolous going round, getting rowdy with it because my closet is literally at max capacity and I don't have room for literally hardly anything else. So... I'm trying to wear like go through like what am I actually using in my closet so I've noticed for every day I literally just wear like my workout leggings and like a North Face fleece jacket and <laughs> I don't even touch any of my designer clothes like very rarely if I go on like a trip or if it's something like a nicer dinner my grandma's in town or something or I have a friend in town something like that 
I will wear my nicer clothes but for every day I don't even touch them so it's just making no sense as to why I just wasn't even making sense so this is only the only thing I've purchased um, outside of like the things I bought in Paris um, in a little while and obviously outside of like PR things I do haul and wear a lot of things that I receive in PR um, that I like so that's you know that I'm not, those aren't things I'm buying but I will probably be buying things I go to France um, this weekend so I'm sure I will be buying things there. When I say shopping bag, I just mean like my online shopping because if online shopping you can do anywhere and I was getting really rowdy with it so I'm just trying to get myself calmed down until my closet is has a little bit more space again. So yeah basically for me like a shopping bag just means like things that are like 500 and under I don't consider as a shopping but things that are like in the thousands I consider a shopping so to me it's like okay it doesn't count if I'm on vacation but um for me if it's just like online shopping I was getting I was literally ordering things like every single day so I was probably spending I think it's embarrassing to say how much per month so I'm not going to disclose that but it was getting really rowdy so um it definitely needed a little ban but I still do shop obviously I literally just went shopping yesterday it's just things that are like a couple hundred isn't my idea of shopping so anyways um, so I literally only bought this. I would have definitely probably purchased other things um, if they had it there just because I was already in the store. But they didn't really have a very good selection. Like I would say the airport, like Hermes store locations are always a hit or miss. Um, the LAX one definitely has better things. This one, um, again at the Osaka airport, not bad, not a good selection. So um, really just the Twillies um, that I would suggest looking at if you are connecting in that airport. The next thing is this tote bag from, I think it's the brand's pronounced like Claire V. I do have it literally completely full at the moment because I leave again to like Portugal and France this weekend. So basically my cat will go and sit and chew. She's like a dog. She will go and sit and chew on anything that I have out within arm's reach for her. So for packing, I don't like to pack my clothes ahead of time because I feel like they'll get wrinkly if they're just sitting in a packing cubes for days, you know? Um, but for all my accessories like jewelry, passport, all my carry-on items like makeup, skincare because I do have like enough makeup and skincare to where I pack, um, I can pack it and I still have my like, it's, I have like separate products that I use for travel basically. Um, so I have all of that stuff, pajamas, basically everything that I could pack that I didn't really care. There's not an element of it getting like wrinkly that I necessarily care about um, in here. <laughs> Obviously I'm not packing it like this, I just have it in here so my cat can't get a hold of it. So that's why it's very full at the moment. I'm going to transfer everything in my suitcase probably um, like tomorrow if I have to guess, but um, tomorrow's the last day I have to do it, so I have to do it tomorrow. But um, I love this tote bag. I received this in PR. Everything that I'm sharing um, for the rest of the haul, I did receive in PR. Um, and I absolutely love this. Literally obsessed. It's, it's not heavy at all. It's just because I have so much stuff in here right now. That's why I'm like struggling <laughs> to show you guys. But I absolutely love this. I and it like kind of it's very like travel friendly. Like it folds down to be um, where you can like pack this very easily. And it fits so many things. It's like how many embarrassing. And yeah, okay, no, I can show you guys. Um, it fits like so many things. This is not how I'm packing anything. I just have a bunch of stuff in here for the trip. Like I have my passport. Um, my grandma gave me this like RFID passport sleeve to put in here like random hats. I have all my euro currency cash in there and then I have like this like beach cocoa power mist touch land sanitizer bikinis another like beach bag um my backup phone chargers like things like that I want to pack that I didn't want my cat to get to because she will surprise me every day with new things she wants to chew um and then this little visor um which I always need visors and hats for like the beach the pool I'm not trying to age my skin and then these sunglasses come in this kind of funky little case. So these are these. And I like sunglasses like this because um, I believe these were like around 150 if you were to buy them. They're not like super expensive. So these are the kinds of sunglasses that I will use for like the beach or the pool. Something where I don't want, um, it kind of depends I guess. If it's like a pool that's like a private villa where you have your own private pool, I'll just wear my Chanel ones. I don't necessarily like care, I'll just leave them out. But if it's like a public pool, I never swim in public pools. I don't know why I would even reference that when I don't do that. Um, maybe like the beach and it's like a cabana or something, I don't know. Something where it's like a beach day or something like that. I will wear um, sunglasses like these so that way they're not like my Chanel's. I can leave them out if I want to. They can get wet, potentially fall off the yacht or something and, and it's fine. I mean, it's not fine. I would probably still be sad about it, but um, it's less. If I lost, like my, if my Chanel flew overboard, that's different, you know what I mean? So I like to have, like I have designated sunglasses for um, basically like ocean pool kind of activities and then different ones for 
um, like every day um, or if I'm like going obviously I wouldn't, these are then designated as my like beach pool sunnies I don't know if that makes any sense I'm like weird like that my mom does that same thing so I have to have like designated different sunglasses for different activities next are some jewelry pieces from Nadri um, so you, I've obviously talked about jewelry pieces on here and I absolutely love fine jewelry like this necklace I get so many questions on this and I just keep forgetting to mention in a video where it's from so I'll just reply like the comment um, and then I think people just like don't see it and then someone will ask the same question again. Um, this is like this little cross necklace is from Roberto Coin. Um, I received it for Christmas last year from my mom. Um, so I do love like obviously uh, fine jewelry that's like real gold, um, real diamonds and all that for sure for every day. Like if you're gonna sleep in it, shower, be in the ocean, yada yada. I don't go in the ocean too often. <laughs> I've seen too many, too many shark videos have been on my TikTok feed lately. Oh, my dog's working. So I probably won't be in the ocean for a little while. <laughs> because my feed has been consisting of shark videos nonstop, so I'm like terrified to go in the ocean at the moment, especially with that lost submarine as well. The ocean is just, I don't have a good vibe with it right now, so I won't be, probably will not be going in the ocean for a little while if I'm on a yacht or something. I'll just look at it, and I don't think I'll be going inside. I've seen too much lately to where I am like terrified of going in the ocean at the moment. My dog keeps barking. My dog just like had a whole barking episode. I don't remember where I left off, but um, I obviously love fine jewelry pieces and um, I will obviously continue to buy fine jewelry, but I like fashion pieces, fashion jewelry pieces. These are fashion jewelry pieces, so they're not real um, gold, diamonds or anything like that. And I have purchased from this brand a few times before, those like hoop earrings I used to wear all the time that had like the like faux diamonds around inside of them. Everybody asked where those were from, were from Nadri and I purchased those myself. I think my mom had purchased them first for herself and then I purchased them because I loved them so much. Or maybe she bought them for me, I don't remember, but Basically for all like traveling stuff, I will bring obviously fine jewelry, whatever I'm wearing on me and then I'll have like a little bag that goes in my carry-on of like nicer jewelry pieces that I don't want to be stolen or like chance that by putting in my checked bag. But if I'm going on a longer trip, I obviously want to have like different options for a bunch of different earrings and necklaces, uh, braces, yada yada. Can I talk? Braces, bracelets. Um, and so I like to have fashion jewelry pieces for things that I can put in my checked bag if it gets stolen. Like obviously I'm going to be a little sad, but I won't be... It's not like a $3,000, you know, bracelet or something like that. So I definitely like Nadri's for fashion jewelry pieces that look very expensive and they last a long time as well. I own like several pieces from them um, and they all last a long, long time. So. so the first piece is this little necklace. I'll probably include closer up shots because I don't think I'll be able to see very well, but um, it's just a simple necklace I did offer. I think a majority of these pieces they offer in gold and in silver. And again, it's obviously not real gold, um, but it looks very real like that is what's crazy to me is it looks so real and that's why I like love this brand and used to purchase from this brand like a lot many years ago um, Basically before I got into like fine jewelry where I didn't think it like mattered and I thought it all looked the same I would um, purchase a lot of Nadri's jewelry pieces and this I'm really excited about um, It's basically two different earrings and I'll again include closer up shots and You'll probably see me wearing these on my uh, France trip when I go on that trip um, and so I have double piercing on this side and then on this side I have three ear piercings and then my cartilage So I love how it's basically a longer earring For your like first piercing and then a second one's like half the, the length for your second piercing So if you have two piercings, I just loved how this looked um, on the model It's very very like edgy while still being elegant. So I'm very excited about that piece It's like probably going to be my favorite jewelry piece for the moment, for the summer. Okay, I don't remember what I was saying. My dog just had the longest little barking incident. I think there was a package been delivered. I don't even know. But um, I really like pieces like this for, I don't remember what I was saying. That's so annoying. He literally keeps barking. But um, I love pieces like this for, for me personally, if I'm traveling, but also if you like how your workplace is in like a not so safe area and you don't want to wear like your real diamond earrings there, you can always wear like something like this. So um, so especially certain areas like LA are having a lot of issues at the moment So it's good to wear pieces like that for if you're going somewhere where you're a little concerned about something like that Or for me like vacation, I don't want my carry-on bag to be extremely heavy with all this jewelry So um, just like save space to pack things like this where you know if it's stolen it's sad But you're not going to be you know crying over it like just picture that like Kim K video of her like crying because She lost her diamond earrings. I would literally do the same thing um and then this earring, I love the design of this. They also have this in gold. Um, I'm a ring size seven, not that it really matters. I'm just so used to saying my sizes for shoes and clothes for reference, but obviously everybody's ring size is different. Um, so I really, really love their jewelry pieces and I love how they all come with this little pouch as well. Um, and I've been purchasing from this brand for years. So this is, I did receive these in PR, but I have purchased from this brand for a long time. Last thing are these sandals from the brand M.Jemmy. I don't know how to pronounce this brand, but it's M.Jemmy. 
like a M period G E M I. And these remind me very much of the Manolo, um, what are those sandals called? They're the black ones. I wore, wear those everywhere. They're so comfortable. They're even more comfortable than my Armand sandals. Like if I could recommend a pair of like designer sandals for you guys to purchase that you can wear and it does not at all hurt your feet. I've never worn those for any walking distance. That has not hurt my feet. The Manolo sandals, I have a photo of them on the screen. Um, I've hauled them before. I want to purchase those in every single color. I just kind of forgot until right now. Maybe I need to end my shopping ban so I can <laughs> purchase them because I need them in every color. I hope that they never like stop selling those. So um, it comes with this dust bag. We know how I am about dust bags that just always symbolizes if something's good quality. So these look very, very similar to those Manolo sandals. Um, very similar design. And they have a bunch of different colors. These are in orange. I feel like orange is just like the color for summer. That's why I did get to pick these out. I did receive some pure though. Um, and I'm a 39, and they're made in Italy too, which I really, really like. Um, I just love the Hermes box. It might be blocking a little bit, but this is a really pretty sandal. And they look very similar to the Manolo ones. So that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I have a bunch more things I need to haul. It's mostly all PR stuff, really, because I'm, again, still on that shopping bed, which is so funny. Because I don't, I'm not someone that needs to be on a shopping bed, but my closet just is sitting with all these clothes with tags on it. It doesn't make any sense to me, so... Um, I've been on a shopping ban just so I can see if what I don't want to buy, keep buying things that are gonna sit in my closet. There are things that have literally sat in my closet that I purchased like purchased like three years ago that I have not worn that still the tags on them. So I need to like see okay what am I actually going to wear and use here. Obviously I've purchased some things like the Missoni bikini like tank top headband. Like Missoni's prices are a lot more reasonable, so I don't really like count that necessarily. And I always wear Missoni's bikinis like every summer, so I know that's something I will wear. The tag is gonna be removed immediately. It's already in my like packing for um, packing bag for my trip this weekend. Um, so I definitely still purchase like when I say shopping bag, I mean on things that I feel like oh I may not even use this. So I still shop, but that's probably not considered a shopping bag, but. Just anything that I feel like I'm not going to use, I won't buy it. And I'm like, normally I'll just buy it. But now I'm, I'm on this thing where I'm like, okay, if I feel like I can't even see myself using this, why am I buying it? Because I was just buying things that maybe I would just think something's cute. Or I'd like the idea of, oh, I could wear this to an opera. And like, when do I go to operas? I don't know. Um, I never do. So then like, I have these gowns like sitting inside of my closet. Actually, they're at the other house, the closet at the other house. Um, so I don't have them here because I don't wear them and I don't go to opera, so I'm like, what are these gowns doing sitting? I was supposed to go to one with my grandma, so I purchased like one for that, and then I ended up getting like two. I just, I don't know, they're just sitting in my closet for no reason. That's how things just sit in my closets. I will think, oh, this will be really nice for blank, and it's something that I don't even do. Um, it's like an event or something I don't do or go to. It's something that just never happens, and then it literally sits in my closet with the tag still on it because I never wear it. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.